Okay, this one is for teenagers, for you guys. Okay, so, you know, look, I, I remember being a teenager and teenagers get a bad rap. You know, a lot of sort of middle-aged, middle-aged adults uh, tend to speak rather disparaging of teenagers and I don't share this opinion at all. In fact, frankly, I think that much of whatever we see in the behavior of teenagers is tied to the way that they're treated or mistreated by adults, right? So I think that adults, middle-aged adults and teenagers, we should cut each other some slack, really. And, I, and let me tell you why. So what you have is a superpower. You have a ton of energy. And I have a fraction of the energy that you have. And you have a fraction of the experience that I have. So the idea, uh, to me, this, this, this makes absolute sense, is that we absolutely should cooperate, collaborate. You know, and, and whatever, you know, differences of generation and opinion and whatever, let's cut each other some slack, I think, right? I mean, I'm absolutely not judging you as a teenage person other than the brilliant, energetic uh, person with your whole future in front of you, right? You have absolute maximum capacity to learn and to change and to adjust and to be productive and successful. So it's my role as the old guy to provide the knowledge and experience to the extent that I can that you then take in and then you decide for yourself what you want to do with it and, and how, you want to, how you want to navigate your life. That's for you to decide. I'm here to be in service of your future to the extent that I can be. Now let me add one more thing to this, and this is just some, again, advice. And I, I would really urge you to think about this, this, this piece of advice. I would urge you not to let anyone else tell you how to use your talent. Let me tell you what I mean by that. So I get this all the time, even now, right? I get it all the time. People want to suggest how, how I should use my own talent and my knowledge and what, what projects I should be involved in and how I should better do this or that. I'm going to urge you, you know, obviously you can listen to people's opinions, but not to allow someone else to steer you into using your talent in a way other than that you want. So if someone wants to support you using your talent the way you want to, brilliant, great, that's up to you. Because what this really means in the business world, the business of talent and art and entertainment is you're going to get people that are going to try to steer you in a direction where th your talent benefits them more than it benefits you. Now it's one thing to compromise and understand that, you know, the win-win situation, when those are possible, okay, that's up to you also. But, you know, in my case, for example, you know, I get this, well, why don't you, you know, work with the institutions or why don't you behave in such a way that I'm going to use my talent the way that I choose, period. I know what I'm capable of. I know the value of what I know. I know what I can do with it. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to choose the trajectory of my path. And I would urge you to think along those lines yourself and to do that. So that's just a bit of advice. But anyway, teenagers, you're doing great. You are the future, you have a ton of energy, I have some experience, and we need to collaborate, we need to cooperate, right? Work together, because ultimately you're going to decide what the future of ballet looks like, not me, ultimately.